Today I'm going to show you three variations of popcorn. We'll start with cinnamon, move to orange, and then I'll make my family favorite kettle corn for you. I've already popped my popcorn. It's three tablespoons of oil and a half a cup of kernels. No seasoning, just very plain basic popcorn. This equals about a quart and a half of popcorn, which is what you'll need for these recipes. I have some butter, some raw sugar, which is organic, which is supposed to be better for your body because it's not been bleached or processed. I have some water, some cinnamon oil, and some cinnamon spice, which will give us the beautiful color we are looking for. To begin, I'm going to set my oven to 325 and my burner to a kind of medium low heat. And then I will add my butter. I forgot to mention when I was showing you my ingredients, the salt. I usually do a, like two twists of salt. And I do that to cut the sugar as well as to kind of give it a little depth of flavor. Then I'll add my water. And finally, I'll add my sugar. It'll take a little while for your sugar to melt. And you want to make sure it melts all the way until it dissolves. So that crunchy sound, you don't want that. Now you can see the mixture is starting to bubble. And the sugar is fully dissolved. So I'm going to turn the fire off and let it let the heat just cool just a tiny bit so it's not bubbling up like that. You don't want to add your oil to really hot ingredients because it, it degrades the flavor. So you let it cool just a little bit. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Go ahead and stir that in. Now that my cinnamon powder is added, uh, you can see that the mixture has become this dark, rich liquid. So I'm going to add my oil. I'm going to use just four drops of the cinnamon oil. The thing with cinnamon oil, it's one of the hot oils. So if you get a little on your fingers, go rinse your hands off because if you touch your eyes or your nose with that on your fingers, it'll kind of not feel good. Now I'm ready to pour this mixture over the popcorn and we're going to blend that in. We want to get that cinnamon coated as much as possible on all the popcorn. Oh my gosh, it smells delicious. Okay, so I have my popcorn coated. It's nice and soggy. Now we have to make it nice and crisp and we do that by baking it. So I have a lime cookie sheet here and I'm going to spread the popcorn over the lined cookie sheet and then I'm going to bake it at 325 for 15 minutes. So now that I have the popcorn in the oven, I'm going to set the timer on my watch for 15 minutes. And then I'm also going to set the timer on the oven for four minutes. The reason I do that is every four minutes I'm going to take the popcorn and I'm going to stir it. And that way I'll get good even crispiness on all of the kernels. Oh, it smells so good. A little messy, but just take your time. Don't rush. You'll get them all flipped around there. God, it smells amazing. For another four minutes. <laughs> the cinnamon popcorn is ready. It looks great, it smells great. Let's get started on the wild orange. 
And again, I'm just gonna put my butter in. It's kind of been sitting out and gotten soft, but that's okay because we want it to melt. Now that the butter is melted, we're going to add the water. Two twists of salt. Again, I'm just waiting for my sugar to dissolve all the way and then I'll be able to add the flavorings. For the orange, we're going to add, instead of cinnamon and cinnamon spice, we're going to add the orange oil and vanilla extract. I prefer to use the vanilla extract that's clear, and I do that because the presentation is a little cleaner. The other vanilla extract that's colored gives uh, the popcorn more of a tan look, and this clear vanilla extract won't do that. We can go ahead and coat the popcorn. And you just want to mix it really well. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my goodness. It almost smells like one of those orange cream sodas that you can get. much as I love the orange and the cinnamon popcorn, the kettle corn is mine and my family's favorite. It is made kind of the same way in that we still use the three tablespoons of oil and we also use half a cup of kernels. The difference is that we're going to actually add the sugar right when the kernels start popping. Now it's time to add the oil once you have your pan started heating. Just a side note, I enjoy using coconut oil. I've tried other oils, corn oil and avocado oil, sunflower oil, but I really like the coconut oil because it gives it a richer flavor. You want to add three kernels to your pan. Once those pop, then you'll know it's safe to go ahead and add the rest of the kernels. What the pot does is it lets you know that the oil and pan, the environment, is conducive for the kernels to start popping properly. There's one, two, three. Okay, my three kernels have now popped, so now I'm going to add my popcorn. Now I'm going to stir, and I'm going to stir slowly, and what I'm doing is agitating it just enough so that it can get the heat thoroughly uh, pushed through all the kernels. And then as soon as I hear it starting to pop, that's when I will add my sugar. Okay, now it started popping. I only got pelted by one kernel, so that's a good day. It's gonna get really loud here in a second, and what I'm listening for is for the popping to slow down to where you're only hearing one or two pops per second. There. And notice my crank. Notice how I can't turn my crank. Don't ever force it. If it's still popping, just kind of shake it to keep it agitated. But don't force it or you'll break your, uh, your crank gears. <laughs> and now we have some yummy kettle corn. This will be hot, so be careful when removing it. And then while it's warm, I like to uh, do my salt on top.
because the kernels kind of stick or melt to it when it's warm. Get that salt distributed through there. So now you have your three flavors of popcorn. Here is our orange. Mm, light and refreshing. Cinnamon. It has like a holiday feel. And kettle corn. Perfect for any occasion. I guess it's time to start the movie. Now it's time to find a movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now it's time to find a movie. Now it's time to find a movie. Now it's time to find a movie.